everybody, this is Praxis, and we're back at it again today here in the Fallout Shelter. The news in the world is sounding pretty good. I'm hearing that the peace talks between Ukraine and Russia are going positively, but haven't we all heard that before? And we're going to keep going with this because the whole idea of being a prepper is to get ready for things well ahead of the last minute. A lot of the stuff I'm feeling like is kind of the last minute. I know I'm a lot further ahead than most people are, but I'm still feeling behind the wall on this. And if we ever do get to a point someday, let's say the peace talks go great and, you know, we've got peace for years and years. If we ever do get to a point in the future uh, when a place like this might be necessary, um, you know, I would love to not you know, feel the same thing that I'm feeling right now about like, you know, get going, you've got to take care of this right now. And, you know, who knows, maybe the peace talks fall apart because honestly it seems like what they do half the time. So uh, what we're working on today is getting this nice blue floor completed. You can see it's all done all through there. We're going to be doing uh, up against the walls. I've got to cut some of the tiles in half. But the most complicated ones are these ones that have to slide underneath the shelves. I'm notching out little holes for them. We did this one first and then I took everything from this shelf and moved it over to that shelf because it was just impossible to lift the shelf up. Uh, you know, these types of shelves, if you, if you hold onto the shelf themselves, all it does is pop the shelf up so you have to kind of hold onto these sides. They were just really awkward to, to lift up. So, we got everything moved over. That's kind of the way it is with construction. If you guys recall me working inside, I'd have a pile of boards and I need to work near them. So move that boards, uh, that pile of boards to another place, work in that area. Eventually you have to move the boards again, again, again. So, it's just more of that kind of thing. So, without any more chit chat, River, you ready to go? Okay, I'm going to lift up the shelf and River is going to slide the piece underneath there. I left a little bit of stuff on here. But it's mostly gone. Okay, there you go. The tricky part is getting the little pieces to snap in. Earlier today, we were also working on testing out... Oh, it's this back side over here. you got to go around over. Oh, now you get it. Um, we were also working on testing out some of the heaters that we have. Okay, can I... Uh, it's... Okay, i got to push it back because it pulled away from the wall when I... Come on. Almost there. I'll talk about the heaters in just a second. All right, am I through? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like I'm through. All right, you want to just finish snapping it in? So we were testing some of these uh, heaters. Uh, this is a small space heater uh, here that you can kind of put your hand in front of. It'll warm you up. This runs on 850 watts, I believe. And then I have a couple of these 1,000 watt uh, hot plates for, you know, boiling water. If we were going to, say, you know, have a can of baked beans or something like that, we could cook. Now, uh, we've got a couple different ways of getting electricity in here. One is grid power, the other is solar power from the house when that's all set, and the other is a small system here. Now, I was testing it on the small system that we have here, and it can, it can barely keep up. It, in fact, it can't really keep up so hot with these guys. The only way that we'd be able to do cooking with these is if we knew that it was bright and sunny outside and I would have to monitor the uh, the voltages to make sure that the batteries didn't drop too far. But it's an option. It's another option for, you know, warming things up and just getting a, a little bit more heat into this space. You know, if you're heating the food, the heat comes out of the food, it warms the space. So it's like a way of heating the space, but you're also, you know, maybe heating up some of your food at the same time. So. Bit by bit, uh, you know, we're moving forward. Uh, I was able to get that hole in the uh, wall yesterday, and the uh, this is a uh, tube drain. It was able to pass through through there fine. So things are coming together. The next thing uh, that I want to work on once we get this water thing taken care of and the whole floor has the uh, flooring on it is to get the air uh, vent put together. I have got a great idea on how I want to do that air vent. I, I don't know if you recall I was mentioning earlier that the air vent. I wasn't really sure exactly how I wanted to accomplish that because you know. The, there were a lot of uh, things related to it, but in particular, with this whole process, I like doing things that have multiple...